Hi friends, in this class we shall be discussing the topic range from measures of central tendencies and dispersion. Okay. In case if you have not seen my previous videos on measures of central tendencies, you can check the i button where you will find the links to all the previous videos that I have posted on my channel. Okay. So, if you like those videos, do like, share and subscribe so that it can keep motivating me to prepare and present more videos like this. So, let us begin with the topic. So, first we will discuss range for individual data and how to calculate range for group data later on. So, first for individual data, the range is defined as the range is defined as the difference between the largest and the smallest observation. The range is defined as the difference between the largest and the smallest of observations. This is very simple in case if we have observations say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 20, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 observations are there. So, range of this data, range of this data will be given by the highest observation minus the smallest observation, okay, highest observation that is 20 minus 2, okay. So, if we take the highest observation or the largest observation as L and the smallest observation as S, then we get the formula range is equal to L minus S. Range is equal to L minus S. So, range of individual data or discrete individual data will be given as L minus S where L represents the largest observation, L represents the largest observation and S is the smallest observation in the given collection of data values. Okay. Now, we shall understand what is coefficient of range, okay, the corresponding measure or the relative measure of range, okay. So, the relative measure of range is called coefficient of range, okay, it is known as coefficient of range and it is given by L minus S divided by L plus S. As discussed in the previous example, we have the smallest observation and the largest observation with us, okay, L is given to you as uh, 20 and s was 2 okay so we can have l minus s as 20 minus 2 divided by divided by 20 plus 2 this is the ratio of the range by the sum of l plus s okay it is the appropriate average it is the appropriate average into 100 okay so, finally, we can calculate this as coefficient of range. Whatever value comes out will be expressed in terms of percentages. So, therefore, it is a comparative value. So, we can compare a different means range of different distributions using coefficient of range easily without having any problem with the units. Okay. So, now we shall move on to grouped data. So, for a group data also the range is defined as the difference between the two extreme class boundaries. It is defined as the difference between the two extreme class boundaries. In case, in case if we have an example like this. So, this is a grouped data. This is a grouped data, right. So, here we have a continuous frequency distribution where the classes are 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80 and so on up to 80. Okay. Here in this case, we have the smallest class boundary as 40. So, this 40 will be taken as S and this 80 will be taken as our L and the range R is normally defined as L minus S. The same formula will work out and what you get will be 80 minus 40. So, it will give you 80 minus 40 is equal to 40. So, 40 is your range and the corresponding coefficient of range, okay, will be given as, it will be given as 80 minus 40 divided by 80 plus 40, okay, 80 minus 40 divided by 80 plus 40, which is equal into 100. You can calculate this thing. Okay, this will be equal to 40 by 120 into 100 that is 
this will go 4 3 is at 12. So, this is equal to 100 divided by 3 whatever value it can be taken out. Okay. So, it is 33.33333 like that. Okay. So, coefficient of range is 33.33333. coefficient of range is expressed as a percentage okay the corresponding relative measure of dispersion which we have discussed uh, the range the ratio of difference between two extreme class boundaries to the total of these class boundaries okay it is defined as the l minus s divided by total of these class boundaries expressed as a percentage okay so this is coefficient of range we know that this is 40, this is 80. So, 80 minus 40 divided by 80 plus 40 into 100. This will be equal to, this will be equal to, this is 40 by 120 into 100, which is equal to um, 4, 3 is at 12. So, 1 by 3 into 100. Okay, that will be equal to 33.33. .33. Now, we shall move on to properties of range. Let us discuss some properties of range. So, properties of range. Range is unaffected due to change of origin. Range is unaffected due to change of origin, but affected in the same ratio due to change in scale, but affected in the same ratio due to change in scale. That is, if we have uh, the expression y is equal to a plus bx, which is the relation between x and y and we know the range of x then we can find out the range of y by using the formula r of y range of y will be equal to modulus of b post absolute value of b into range of x. So, that is if we have y is equal to uh, 2 plus 3 into x as the given relation and we have the range of x range of x is given to you as say 10 okay then what is range of y okay range of y will be given as r y okay range of y is generated by r y which is equal to y equal to this is uh, modulus of 3 into range of x okay this is b and this is a so, A is of no use to us, only B with its sign will take the positive sign. Okay. So, this is modulus of 3 is 3 into range of x is 10. So, the range of y becomes 30. That is the output value. Next property, next property says that if all the observations are constant, then the range is 0 because the smallest observation will, if all observations are constant, k, k, k and so on up to k then the smallest observation and the largest observation are all k. So, it will be k minus k which will be equal to 0. So, the range becomes 0 if all the observations are identical or constant. Next property says that it cannot be negative. Yes, definitely the largest minus the smallest. So, in that case when we define L minus S, it is clearly L will be greater than S or at least equal. Okay. So, therefore, there is no possibility of range becoming negative. It could become 0 at the minimum. Okay. So, L minus S by definition it can never be negative. That is very clear. Next thing is that the frequencies are not at all considered for computing range and its coefficient. Only the highest value and the lowest value uh, or the highest boundary point and the lowest boundary point is considered to calculate the range of the data. Next property says that it is widely used in industrial quality control because it gives a fair idea of uh, the content of the quality. Okay. Next, let us look at some problems, how to solve some exam related problems. So, let us go on to concept practice problems. The first problem, let us consider this problem. The following are the wages of 10 workers. The following are the wages of 10 workers expressed in rupees. So, we have 82, 96, 52, 75, 70, 65, 50 and 70. We need to find the range and also the coefficient of range. 
very simple we need to just find out the smallest observation and the largest observation so l is equal to what is the largest observation appears to be 96 here 96 and the smallest observation s is uh, uh, 50 okay we can see that from these values it is 50 okay so range range is equal to range is equal to r of x suppose if this is x then r will be equal to l minus s and that is equal to 96 minus 50 so 96 minus 50 will give you 46 now we shall find out coefficient of range coefficient of range so that is defined as the difference between the higher high upper boundary point or the largest observation minus the smallest observation divided by the sum of the largest and the smallest observation into 100 okay so what we get here is 96 minus 50 divided by 96 plus 50 into 100 okay so this when we calculate using the calculator what we get is 31.5 one okay next problem this is a grouped frequency distribution so here this is not exclusive therefore we need to convert it to exclusive class intervals okay so the lower boundary point in this case will be l is equal to not 50 but it will be 49.50 and sorry s will be equal to s will be equal to 49.50 and L will be equal to 74 okay point five zero okay in the previous example we have taken the largest value as 96 smallest value as 50 because the, these were the smallest and the largest values in, when we discuss about this kind of problem we will take the extreme class boundaries as the highest and the lowest possible values of the data okay now range r will be defined as l minus s which is very simple 74.50 minus 49.50 which will give you 25 okay we have 25 kg we are discussing weights okay it is in kgs uh, now coefficient of range coefficient of range what is coefficient of range coefficient of range in this case will be equal to um, the l minus s divided by l plus s into 100 so that is uh, the numerator will be 74.5 minus 49.5 divided by 74.5 plus 49.5 into 100 okay percentage so that will be equal to 25 by 25 by 124 into 100 so finally what you get is 20.16 kgs so coefficient of range this much 20.16 is your coefficient of range the next problem next problem is related to change of origin and change in scale we know that range is not affected by change of origin it is only affected by change in scale in the same ratio okay so therefore in the given expression what we have is 2x plus 3y equal to 10 so we can write this in y form because we need to find the range of y the range of x is given to you as 15 okay r of x is equal to 15 now this y will be equal to 10 by 3 minus 2 by 3 into x this is very clear now this b will be equal to 2 by 3 b will be equal to minus 2 by 3 so modulus of b is 2 by 3 okay so range of y will be equal to modulus of b into into r of x range of x so here b is equal to minus 2 by 3 so modulus of minus 2 by 3 will be equal to 2 by 3 so what we have here is 2 by 3 into what is range of x range of x is 15 okay so 3 into 5 3 into 5 is 15 so the final output will be 100 okay that will be equal to 5 into 2 is equal to 10 sorry 
it will be equal to range of y will be equal to 10. Okay, these are the three different types of problems where uh, you need to find range for CSEMS syllabus and next we shall discuss some merits and demerits or limitations of range. We shall discuss more problems in the problem section where we will be taking miscellaneous problems of all type. Okay, I shall be publishing separate videos for those sections. Merits of range, it is very easy to understand, it is easy to calculate and it does not require any special knowledge as we know we just need to subtract the highest, the smallest value from the highest value and it is very simple, anybody can easily calculate. Next thing is limitation of range, let us discuss some limitations, the limit, first limitation is that it does not take into consideration all the items of the distribution, all the items of the distribution are not considered only the smallest and the largest values are considered for calculation of range, okay. So therefore the smallest and the largest values are generally the extreme values, so range is affected by extreme values, if the extreme value is way away from the remaining data then the range will appear to be stretched okay next it is not possible to find range in case of open ended frequency distribution in case if we do not have a lower boundary point or uh, a larger uh, an upper boundary point of the lower class in that case we cannot find the range okay that is one of the limitations sometimes we because we don't get the extreme values in that case in case of open ended frequency distributions okay now further it is not suitable for any kind of mathematical applications because it is just it just gives you an overview of uh, the data that where it lies between which two values it lies so that is what uh, we get from the range so it is not further useful in any kind of predictions next it does not indicate the direction of variability that is whether the the data is increasing or decreasing or we cannot get the proper direction of how the values are moving okay as per time now we shall discuss some utility or uses of range the range where is range used okay generally the range is used in industries for statistical quality control it is used for statistical quality control of the manufactured products by constructing a control chart okay range is used in industries for statistical quality control of manufactured products okay so some kind of um, some protocols may be decided and then it will be followed okay now range is useful in studying the variation in the prices of stock shares and other commodities okay what is the this much variation this much variation like that next it is useful in by it is used by the meteorological department a lot it is used by the meteorological department which uh, is useful in weather forecasting okay it uses range for weather forecasting say if the temperature is between this value to this value and the humidity is between this value to this value then what is the prediction of uh, rainfall or what is the the chances of rain or any other weather predictions okay that's all for this video we shall meet in the next video for mean deviation thank you